Chào mừng quý vị đến với phần 2 của câu chuyện kinh doanh. Okay, Avinash, uh, welcome back to the second part of the show. Thank you. We know the majority of trading here in Vietnam is for retail investor. Mm -hmm. So you have a new product coming out. What are the advantages of your product to this kind of investors? Sure. An open-ended fund is a product that is open to any investor, mm -hmm. whether you're an experienced trader right. or you have absolutely no experience whatsoever and you're coming into the stock market for the first time. Really? It is, yeah, because I think the idea and the advantage of having an open-ended fund or investing in an open-ended fund is, firstly, it is professionally managed. So you do not have to know anything about any company. What you have to make sure is that the manager that you select is a good one. Um, so not only do, is it professionally managed, it's our investment style is more long-term in nature. Right. So we don't necessarily look at the next 60 days, 90 days, six months. Mm -hmm. We look out three to five years and try to identify mm -hmm. which are the good investments, who's going to do well, mm -hmm. and then make our investments accordingly. So you get the benefit of joining into that long-term investment strategy. Uh, next, it's diversification. So as an individual, if you were to try and do this, you'd be able to maybe track one or two companies, maybe four, if you're really good, five or six. Right. In our portfolio, on average, there are between 20 and 25 companies. Mm -hmm. And we have a research staff of over 10 people mm -hmm. that focus on this and mm -hmm. develop this. Mm -hmm. So as an investor in an open-ended fund, you'd get access, essentially, to all that research that mm -hmm. we do through the open-ended fund. Mm -hmm. The next advantage is liquidity. I mean, it's an issue that I think is very important for a lot of investors. Right. You can trade an open-ended fund anytime you want. The way we've set it up mm -hmm. is twice, uh, once a week, we have an NAV that you can either buy or you can sell it back. Right. or redeem it at. So that's your liquidity right there. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of flexibility, you have the flexibility to invest in different kinds of funds depending on the strategy that you want to focus on. Right. So if you want to focus on more of a conservative type strategy, mm -hmm. you'd go into our tactical balanced fund. Mm -hmm. If you want to be, have a little more aggressive strategy or you want to be focused more on equities, you'd go into our blue chip fund. Right. And then finally, I'd say transparency. Hmm. I mean, everything that we do is public. Mm -hmm. Every report that we publish is public. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no uh, situation where the investor doesn't know what it is that we're doing, what it is that we're investing in. On a monthly basis, all our reports are published with the uh, State Securities Commission. Mm -hmm. I would actually say those are four important ones. Okay. But I'd say the key one is actually being professionally managed. All right, got it. Because that is, the, that is the difference between you and I trying to do this on our own as yep. opposed to having professionals ha that have access to information, that have access to uh, yep. the companies and can uh, essentially do a lot more research. Uh, well, I understand that you guys have um, blue chip fund. Share with us more about the, the type of fund. Blue chip uh, essentially is a name that goes with trying to show quality. Mm -hmm. So when we look at uh, blue chip and when we're talking about high quality, that high quality can come from multiple different sources. It can be high quality management of the com investment companies that we're looking at. Mm -hmm. It could be high quality revenue. It could be high quality profits. So we look at essentially companies that we think have meet our high quality definition mm -hmm. and typically these companies tend to be the larger ones right. in the market. So what is the benchmark return of this blue chip fund? So all our funds have different benchmarks. Now when for the blue chip fund in particular the benchmark is the VN100 which is essentially the top 100 companies okay. in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. And while it is our benchmark, we tend not to focus as much on the benchmark itself. Mm -hmm. What we do is focus on research. Mm -hmm. So we try to find the best companies okay. that are going to give us the best returns. Mm -hmm. Now, 
Sometimes they're in the benchmark, sometimes they're not going to be in the benchmark. Right. But what we try to do is essentially take a look at each company right. and decide whether it is a good investment or mm -hmm. not. Well, every fund has different risk and doesn't apply to all investors. So what kind of investor is more suitable for your blue chip fund? Blue chip fund is um, it's open to pretty much any investor that is looking to increase their wealth mm -hmm. over the long term, three to five years. Okay. Because we look at it as investors, we're looking for companies that are going to give us a return in three to five years. And it's not just a small return, we're looking for outsized returns, right? So what we want is investors that invest in our fund that also have a similar target and a similar goal mm -hmm. and a similar objective. Now, if, you, um, if we're looking at companies that are going to provide us a longer term return, and that is your target in terms of growing your wealth over the next three to five years, okay. it's the ideal fund. Mm -hmm. Now, given that it is a general equity strategy, I think the blue chip fund should be part of a core portfolio in any investor strategy. Vừa rồi là phần 2 của câu chuyện kinh doanh. Xin mời quý vị giải lao trong giây lát trước khi đến với phần cuối cùng của chương trình.